Beep boop. Beep boop. <sighs> you alright? Ah, uh, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I'm getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Lucas. After all, he helped me get this... this far. I'll take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Yeah. So now we need to head on over and find the library. But what we also need to do... Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh, I had something out of the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. I'm not looking forward to that water shortage. Well. Shoot, I thought that was a solution. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. And for the looks of things, possibly an untamed one. It's locked on the inside. Well... I wonder if locked on the inside means we'll get to it later or way later. Because I don't think Nico would have made a comment on that if it weren't anything for later. Hello, person. The library's up ahead. Oh boy, we're already at the library. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Makes sense. You wouldn't have to suffer. That being said, wouldn't it be better if the world just didn't end? But yeah, library's right there. We need to find some water, though, for that plant. We need to find some water for Mize. So she can regrow. Hopefully. So, obviously, we don't necessarily need to go there yet. Perhaps we should go up. Back alley. Up! Oh. Lucas, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. That has more relevance for later. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Oh, pass. So, that. Oh boy, that. Uh, Nico just had a vision. Uh, that will have much more relevance in bonus content. This smells kind of nice, what is it? Breaded fish. I tested the bread myself. I see. But, um, yeah. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out of it. It's an empty rectangular slot. Giant camera. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making those fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. You want one? It's okay, thank you. I mean, but, Nico, surely you must be hungry. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Sure. Okay, so I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Hey, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Cool. That's one of the things we need to regrow Mize, but we need some water first. And he's head on over here. Head on through here. 
Oh. Oh, is that the tower? We're not supposed to be here yet. We'll come back to this later. Not like so uh, so much later that it's a, po a bonus content, considering the tower is our dis our destination. But uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get to the tower eventually. Right now, we currently have other things to do. But yeah. Nico's visions have a lot of row. God. Please don't approach. Yeah, that robot is gone. Whoa, Lucas, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you, if you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. That was the same fox that Nico just saw from their vision. That fox does not want to talk to us right now. Uh, but I have a feeling we'll be talking to her eventually. Not right this sec. And, and by eventually I don't mean like... I don't necessarily mean, like, before hitting the tower. Or hitting up the tower. She did she did mention, if you find a way to return. Strangely warm in this room. Actual cats! Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. Eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. You have shaped like you have shaped like a cat, but I'm just a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I got Lucas to guide me. I see. Yeah, bunch of actual cats. Faded flyer. We don't get to see what's on it. Faded flyer. We don't get to see what's on it, unfortunately. Curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram? Wait. I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. Secret! Uh, Demon Ram's even here too. Yep. It's good to see you too. This ram doesn't react to me at all. Of the red bars written on its wall. That one isn't a ram. That one is read only. I see. <laughs> what? That's a reference, let me tell you. So, we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Yeah, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Okay. That gets them all jumping. Oh, we should probably check this. An electric kettle looks like it's boiling water. It's almost lunchtime. If I'm ramming, I'll pass. <laughs> Oi, I... Yeah. Of course, I'm just trying to find some water, and I may need to go to the guide. I've been needing to go to the guide a lot late, a lot lately. I mean, considering it's technically my first playthrough, I mean, I've seen videos, but this is technically my first playthrough, I should probably take off the ram shirt. And I'm gonna go to the guide. Right, right, right. I think we need to go back up. We need to head back over to the apartment bathrooms. Oh, X doesn't make this faster.
X doesn't skip text. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so we'll need to head on over to the apartment bathroom. Uh, to the apartment bathroom. And... Get a tube of water. So we can then go ahead and mix the water pill with the water. And, g and bring it... Uh, and give the water to Mize. I believe we need to equip the empty tube. Right, I can refill this w w tube with more water here. Here. Now. Oh, wait, we're indoors. Gotta not be indoors first. And then... Alright, so... Travel. Uh, A, travel. Garden. Alright. Mix a tube of water with the water pill. So put the pill in the water. It dissolved really fast. Then equip the medicated water. Pour that onto the plant. It's right at a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. And there you have it. Uh, that's the achievement. Uh, yeah, that's the achievement. Uh, we'll get it after. We'll get it once the game's done. So. Oh wait, I just teleported back to the elevator deck, please. Thank you. I gotta go through another long, boring walk. And not long, another long, boring elevator ride. Dot 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 dots. Dot 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 dot. dot. Mm -hmm. And that's immune to X skip too. Now, quick travel to the library because we can go to the library now. What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in the library. There are books in the library. Um, go by bug the chatty one upstairs. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he doesn't write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh, they say this city's the last bastion of civilization? Soon these books may be the only thing we... We have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Pile of books on the ground. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure what the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means he won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he'd at least show up for once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Computer, off. Yep. Photo of some people does not tell us. It does not give us any information as to whom. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Yep. Still, still scared of last. Reshelving in progress. Yeah. Can't go up ladders. Nico's afraid of heights, or just ladders. The author's so cool. Now he can travel all over, all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. A book. Oh. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, uh how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, really, really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just gonna write about the same thing, and everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before this. Oh, uh, I mean, I ain't hating. 
I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major ta talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though my person and cats are pets. And Mausers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Heh. <laughs> I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Yeah. I mean... I mean, heck, my cat hasn't even, hasn't even ate mice. Then again, we don't have a mouse problem. So I guess that's a good thing. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? That librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. Even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. This is chapter five. This is chapter five. Oh. Chapter five. A survey of phosphors found in the natural world. Blue phosphor location: the Barrens. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphorus shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using the blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at, base, at a baseline level of activity to ensure con a constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor, location the glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is of, of the highest energy. It's also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. Norn's known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. However, due to its relative scarcity and pass over harvesting, there's, no, there's currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by. Red phosphor, found in the refuge. Out of the, out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor is in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it will lose its glow permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. That's all. So, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. The author, the author publishes books at a highly accelerated and almost in human pace. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to that librarian, there's still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One can't help to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. Ah. I guess that book can be read later. Excuse me? Oh, you're the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She's not picking up. 
Is she not here? She's here. She's in the archive room upstairs. When she's concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. This librarian has not been tamed. Then, can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible, accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian. Oh my god. Not again. Not again! Are you kidding me? Now I gotta pick up. I mean, come on. Why do you always wait for the call to fail? I figured, you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through the library card is against my programming. You mean an emergency? My programming is not flexible because this robot has not been tamed. So we need it. So we need some way to get copies for grown-ups. Well, I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I loved it. But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Oh boy. So yeah. Um, so we can't get, so we can't get over to George at the moment. I think I, see what it looks like, I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess we call the cat isn't all that bad, as long as people don't assume you eat mice. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, so we need some way to get a library card. Um... So, what we'll need to do Um Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't here. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory? You just take the stairs to the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. So we need to find the lamplighter's house. Oh, there it is. Duh. Empty glass jar. The handle on this one looks broken. Wire handle. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Hey, they're actually pretty light. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. We don't read it. Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Uh, okay, he's getting some pretty neat. It's nice that he's getting some praise for all he's done. So, what we need to do is put the lenses in, in order. Look, there's something could fit in here. Perhaps. Alright, so. The thick lens goes first. <coughs> then the concave. I'm reading a guide here because I'm totally lost. I'm sorry. Then the thin lens. And then the convex lens. Alright. Now we need to... Uh... Cheese? Ouch! My eyes. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Not a cat! Just 
Just so we're clear. Not a cat. So we need to head on over to the factory. Where's the factory at, though? But I think I realize where it is now. Further down than we thought. This is it. Alright. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security uh -huh. system test. Could you cover us into specific configuration? One light's correct. Nine tries left. Oh. It doesn't tell me. Three lights correct. Still three lights. Six tries left. Okay, so this one's blue. Two lights. Okay, so no. I only have three tries left. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Um, okay, 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 okay. Four, four lights, correct. Last try. I have to restart, and I think it changes every time, so... Three lights correct. So three three lights need to be yellow. No, actually it does not. That needs to remain blue. Four lights correct. No, that needed to be yellow. Okay. So, am I out of space? Hold on. So it turns out Xbox Game Bar has a recording limit of one hour, after which it stops itself. So, yeah, cool. Five lights correct. Access granted. Alright, so yeah, five lights correct, access granted. Security system temporary deactivated. I don't think I want to go through that again. So yeah. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... Those damn squares. Please, do not approach. What am I gonna do? Okay, so yeah, that robot's gone. And I still should not approach the squares. I don't know why. Monitoring. Monitoring. Ugh, the squares particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We have to put off the water analysis project for now. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Nothing unusual at this point. Sure, a lot of computers here, and they look important, too. Pick up some more destruction in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Oh, boy. I hmm, wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week, and... She fell asleep. Damn. 
That's unfortunate. Really keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own, but not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. I cannot stop spinning. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before robot repairing robots broke down. Now the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, I do. Do I sound like a robot to you? Not really, but your head's a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. Yeah. So we were supposed to go into the middle area. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I'd known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Lucas helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? Library card? You have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see that librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. Sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you mine. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Let's save, let's save a photo of my face on, to your face. That was a joke. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Someone's working on from the shelf. It's too big glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, Kip... Uh, Kip card glue. Library card... Nico, uh, Nico picture. Back to the library. Hey, Lucas, doesn't Lily look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the lo robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? We should, actually. Oh. Th that's... How did you get this? The robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you? I see. <sighs> supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based it on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? Yeah, breakthrough. Why don't I build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person, a robot that isn't bound by its own code? Oh, but turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions to the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But... She seemed so nice when we talked. She talked a little weird. Ah. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through her uh, through his own means. Real miracle work of that. After, she, after he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. She will never come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. So, yeah. So, it turns out... Robot Silver was based off of Dr. Silverpoint. Anyways... Now, we need to head on out. Oh, are we seriously considered indoors? I, oh, right, I guess we are. Alright, back to the library. Talk to this... Alright. Oh, um... Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match, successful, you're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Let's check in this room. Nope. Let's 
full. Looks like an old phone. Excuse me. Hey, who the heck do you think you are barging in here like that? I don't care if the Messiah manners are still a thing. I'm sorry? Well, you're here to just, just here to apologize? Yes? I mean, no. I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go in the tower? Seriously? You haven't figured that one out yet? I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Shouldn't Lucas help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Not beyond that tiny entrance room, anyway. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah, of all people, can get in. But I don't got anything like that in my collection. Would like to, though. I see. Books poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit, uh, visit, to, another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah woke up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she's unsure of the house's location. Urashis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant in recording the prophet's day, the day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were his children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, expressed an interest in reading. I happened to teach him as I did his father. Actually, at this point, we are we've recorded so long that I'm just gonna call it for this episode. Next time on One Shot, we're probably gonna finish the game. Take care.